A new report has come out indicating that, the, that for future climate change scenario, one in which significant global action on climate change has to limit warming to two, 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius, one in which no action or climate change has forced global climate temperatures to rise 9 Fahrenheit. So right now, global climate change has risen 9, nine we've seen a 9% increase in the temperature, right? Limiting climate change would have to have a tremendous, would have a tremendous benefit on the United States overall, right? Number one, what it would do is it would, you know, decrease the fact that we have these crazy extreme, temp these crazy extreme weather conditions, which has caused tons, millions of dollars in damages. But beyond just that, according to the EPA, EPA has looked at the costs associated with combating climate change, particularly the terms of infrastructure damage, and it would it find that no action on climate change, annual road, and the annual cost it takes to maintain the roads would increase by $10 billion by the end of the century. Whereas with action on climate change, up to $7 billion of those costs will be avoided. So in a nutshell, we'll save $7 billion in this country alone if we decide to act on climate change. Sadly, the whole hypocrisy here is that deficit hawks, right? The people are like, oh, we need to get rid of the deficit. The deficit is awful. We've got to rage against the deficit. Rawr. All those people are the same people that don't believe climate change exists. Maybe, just maybe, America, just maybe, if they were saying, oh, well, we want to decrease the deficit. Well, maybe if we pass climate change, we'd actually save the country some money. It's a profound concept. And so beyond the fact that they deny science and reality, they also deny the economic benefit of making the hard decision and the choice to act on climate change. It's baffling, isn't it? Absolutely baffling. And it should be baffling to you at home too.